everybody, welcome back. i uh, got a journal to share with you guys. This has been a long, long time coming. Um, I don't know. Some of the journals I've started on, it just seems to have taken me ages. But um, anyways, I got there in the end. Um, this is a design team project for uh, Seneca Pond using her... Um, it's a kit, I think it's airmail. I will put the link in the description below. Um, this coordinated beautifully with the Tim Holtz paper pack. <clears throat> and it's also a design team project for Butterbee scraps because I've used her um, closure here. Um, so this has been um, really interesting from the point of view. In my giveaway, I asked some people you know, what would you like to see? A lot of, um, I think there was a couple of people came back and said some different closures. So I was delighted when um, Luann approached me to join um, the design team because I had spotted these on the her site and thought, great, this is another closure that I can share with everybody. So, okay, let's just get started here. What went into this? This is a tome using Nick the Booksmith's um, book course. I've had a lot of people um, in comments ask me how do you create the spine. Lots of different questions that I cannot answer guys because I purchased the kit, um, the course, and you know this is Nick's livelihood so I cannot share those things. So um, but that's how this was created. I covered it with the um, Tim Holtz airmail fabric. So um, I've been, I had this material, gosh, probably a year and a half. So I created the cover and then little by little I've been sourcing things pulling things together. I just recently got the coordinating Tim Holtz paper pack and then Eileen um, allowed me to use her um, airmail um, ephemera from her um, shop. So, you know, it's this is, people often say, how do you produce these journals so quickly? I don't. I don't. That's just the simple fact. There are women I know in the junk journaling community that can produce journals daily. I don't do that. You might see me listing a journal every day, but believe me, it has been going on for a long time and, and you just aren't seeing, because I have so many journals in the making um, at any one time, I mean right now it's probably the least amount I've had. I've got three I can't remember the last time I only had three in the making. Usually it's closer to 15. So um, it's just how I seem to like to um, create because I do get bored with one um, design of papers and I need a break. I sit it to the side and I go on. And I also find if I come back to a journal with fresh eyes, it just helps me. Um, and that's just my process. Anyways, I don't know. I'm rambling on. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's happening with me today. I've not had a lot of coffee, so I don't know. There's no excuse, I guess. The cover, I just decided to take lots of... Um, this is one of the pieces from Seneca Pond. And then I just layered... And that's from Seneca Pond as well. So I just took lots of stuff. Collaged, as you can see. This is the Butterbee Scraps Closure. So I thought that was cool. I did um, a paper. I was going to use fabric, but in the end, this just seemed to work better. And I like it. I like the way. And you've also got room for that to expand. I've left it so that there's room that if you add more to it, you know, it's not really that tight yet. So you could still add quite a bit of ephemera, but this journal is very full. Um, gosh, sorry guys, my voice is already starting to give out. <clears throat> three signatures 
in the front I've done a pocket here I've done quite a bit of collaging and I'm um, trying to think there's no other kits that's been used except except Seneca Pond but I have used a, a few pieces of ephemera from um, some of my other um, stash I've included a lot of uh, vintage postcards there's no rhyme or reason to them. It, it's just I've got masses of, of these old, and that's Lake Louise in Canada. And I just have got to start parting with these things. I don't know. I This is one of the um, envelopes from Seneca Ponds. Aren't they beautiful? And they match perfectly with this um, Tim Holtz paper pack. Um, this is the Tim Holtz paper uh, this is just um, an odd piece. I think I picked this up from Seven Gypsies or something, but it went along nicely with this. So I've included that book page from you know with some maps. I just thought it kind of all went together. Here I've got a pocket. Everything has been tea dyed, um, and then there are some ledger papers and you know just different sheets. I've done some stamping in this. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There's stitching, probably not as much as I've done in other journals. Here, another t um, tag I've made, and then just various um, things that I thought went along with this theme. Um, like I said, it's I don't know why. I've just the cover on this has probably been made for <clears throat> at least three months. And I've just, I don't know, I've just really struggled to get this one done. Here I've just backed some of the um, extra paper with some tea dyed. Here is just an envelope. There's nothing in the envelope. Um, just did a little altered paper clip. And then this is one of the, um, <coughs> excuse me, vintage stamps that... Um, Tracy Fox sent me. Thank you, Tracy. I really appreciate that. Um, they, they've I've used quite a few of them in this journal because it it was just perfect for it. Um, this is this one's been titled Airmail, so that was so handy to have those. Really thoughtful of her. I had uh, mentioned to her that I never seem to to can get my hands on old stamps, and she was kind enough to send me a big envelope full. <laughs> Um, like I said, I did a lot of stamping here. Uh, let's see. This is another one of the images that comes from Eileen's kit. So, uh, just another little tag I made. This is some more of the stamps um, from Tracy. And these are, this is a handmade paper envelope. And I've just sewn it into the signature so that you had two sides you could make. You know, tuck some items in. Uh, let's see, I've got some more. Just various ephemera. And another tag that I've cut out. A lot of writing space in here. Here, I've just, this is another, um, this clip comes from Butterbee Scraps, so I'll put the link below for that below. Um, here I just made a like a little notepad out of some offcuts that I had and stitched that and I've just clipped it in and then I included this. Um, this is from Washington DC. I don't know the date on these, but it's got to be pretty old because it says four and two cents. So this has got to be pretty old um, postcard. This is the second signature. I did a couple of little flips where I've lined this with uh, tea dyed paper. And then I've also made tuck spots so that you could tuck some things away there. Yeah, it was a lot of fun when I finally got this started. Um, just going through... My um, This is another one from uh, Seneca Pond's kit. I love these. These are so pretty. She's got the little stamped image. 
Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to just finally sit down, you know, and go through because you guys know I've been working on a lot of design teams and I've, I've accumulated quite a bit of ephemera. So, oh, and this is a stamped, <clears throat> those Tim Holtz um, stamps I purchased, I don't know, maybe it's been a, probably a couple months back. So I've just kind of layered that. Um, yeah, I just got busy and printed some things out. Here is a music sheet large pocket. Um, one of the old typewriting book pages. And just another um, uh, typed out uh, book page. Another old this is from Canada. Oh, I should have kept this one, but I didn't. Lake Agnes and the Beehive. Oh, I should have kept that one. Didn't spot that. <laughs> uh, and then a coin envelope. There's nothing in it, but I just put that in there. And here's just a time card that flips out. Some more ephemera with some postage and then just some various things from my stash and another one of those little Tim Holtz stamped that's the back of that typewriter um, how to type uh, manual just some various uh, ephemera. That's some more layering there. Love that. That's from the um, the kit. So yeah, it, it's been a lot of fun. I love that page. That's beautiful. Okay, and we're into the third signature. And this one I just did like a flip out. You could add a photo or do some writing there. And more. There's another um, vintage postcard and another little uh, digital printout I've got. There's another one of those stamps from Tracy. And then this tiny tag. So sweet. I hope everybody's having a good week. I um, oh, it's just I don't know. Some weeks you seem to accomplish more than others, but this week I've been kind of having to spend some time um, trying to gather some things together to do a car boot, and I desperately need to do one. I'm so excited to. Hopefully the weather changes and <clears throat> warms up a little bit. Um, we had a warm bunch of weather and then now it's turned cold again so uh, I did think that was what was going to happen. Here just a little um, paper clip, another tag, clip to that side and then um, this is another, it, this is not a vintage but it's meant to look like a vintage postcard. Um, so if the weather holds out I'm hoping to do a car boot in a couple weeks because I am desperate to clear out some stuff. I cannot believe. I just did a massive clear out um, last year, but oh my goodness. I need to do it again. I need to do it again. Here I've got some more ephemera. And a pocket here, and then this is some old uh, music sheet. And there's the other glassine bag. And then this is the back where we've got the um, the latch closure. And then I've just filled it. This is another one of the images from Seneca Pond. It just coordinated so nice with this paper pack. I was delighted when I saw that because I thought, oh yes. And like I said, I had purchased this um, fabric 
I bet it's been close on two years. And uh, I had no idea I'd find anything. I should have known Tim Holtz did a paper pack, but at that time I hadn't spotted it. So, yeah, I was really, really thrilled to get all those. And I love that closure. So, so nice. I love it. And there's a close-up of the, the cover again. Just You wouldn't have to, you know, there's nothing hanging off or anything. It's just very clean. Um, really pleased with how this has come out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you guys back here again soon. Have a great rest of the week. Bye.